meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. And not only did we get a lot of rain, but most of it came down in a very short amount of time. Let's check out some of these totals and much of this coming down in less than 24 hours. Pretty incredible. Providence about four inches as of this afternoon. Bristol over five. Kingston over five. Hope Valley 5.2. I'm not going to go through every single one here, but you get the idea. A cushion over five inches. East Greenwich 4.83. Cranston, we had some flooding problems here out towards Fletcher Avenue. Only 3.29. It's all relative. I mean, that's still a very healthy rain amount. It just doesn't look so large compared to some of these other rain amounts showing up. You can see Westerly was at five inches. So you may be asking, did we set a record for today? First of all, thanks for asking. Well, the answer is no. Today at TF Green, 3.36 inches. But look at what happened four years ago, 2010. Yes, the historic floods, the four-year anniversary. So that record, 5.32, not even close to that at TF Green. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 showing the precipitation continues to stream in here from the south. Now, it's not nearly as bad as what we saw this morning, but still the potential of some heavier pockets of rain will be moving through overnight into tomorrow morning. So those areas which experienced flooding earlier could easily get a little bit more minor flooding as we head into the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, we should start to really break up this precipitation, although we'll keep the chance of those showers in the forecast. Raindrops on the camera lens right now. Temperature is 38 degrees. Just a raw, chilly night. Get used to this. This is the stuff that's on the way for tomorrow. Winds are out of the northeast at 22 miles an hour. It feels like a wintry 27 degrees. Smithfield down to 36 right now. 37 Newport, 37 New Bedford, 39 right now in westerly. So you can see the storm center really taking its time, churning off to the east. Eventually it scoots away, but as it makes its pass throughout the night through tomorrow morning, it sucks some colder air towards us. That'll trigger some more showers and also the slight chance of a little bit of sleet or wet snow. Most of us probably won't see that, but we can see what happens in our future cast going hour by hour. Still some more rain showers overnight. This is at 630 tomorrow morning. We are mostly in the green indicating some rain showers, but notice some patchy pink indicating. Yeah, north and west of 295, the potential of some sleet, some snow, not expecting any accumulation. So that's good news as we head into the later part of the day. You can see some more rain showers in the forecast. It's off and on, not as heavy as what we saw this morning. And then as we go into tomorrow night, this could actually end as some snow out towards Cape Cod and temperatures pretty chilly may go below freezing by Tuesday morning. So yes, up and down with the temperatures over the next couple of days and temperatures tomorrow. Not very pleasant. Six o'clock in the morning, 38 degrees with off and on rain showers, maybe a touch of sleet. Noontime, we're at 42 degrees, 40 at five o'clock in the evening. And I should point out, although I gave you the yellow light for the morning commute, not expecting major delays, be mindful there could still be spots which are blocked off because of this morning's rain. So you may have to plan on an alternate route if that's the case. Just uh, allow an extra few minutes for that. Here's the seven day future cast. You could see that on Tuesday we start chilly, 33 degrees in the morning. And then how about the sunshine? I mean, unbelievable that we'd actually get sunshine. 49 on Tuesday. I know. Obviously, we're being a little sarcastic, but I think we're all kind of tired of this. Wednesday, we're at 54 degrees with a chance of showers. Don't forget about the app for your iPhone or Android device. You can find that on WPRI.com. So not completely done with the wet weather just yet. It'll be tough to get through uh, Monday, uh, just being another it's, dreary Monday. It's but a then raw, cold day, yeah. The rest of the week, looking forward to it. Looks nice. Looking much better. All right, Pete, thanks so much. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 10, why search teams are now in a race against the clock as the hunt for the wreckage of the missing airliner enters its fourth week. You're watching Eyewitness News at 10 on Fox Providence. It's coverage you can count on.